Hey, Smalley. What's happening? Say, have you ever thought about dating Lady Gaga? Well, Bumo, maybe back in the day I did. But you know I found an amazing girl that I'm completely in love with now. So I'm not interested in dating anybody anymore. Yeah, you always waited for the right girl to come along. Me? I've always waited for the wrong one. Wrong is close enough to right anyway. Why do you ask about Lady Gaga? Is she the wrong one for you? Maybe. I just had an idea for a contest. A contest, you say? What sort of contest? Well, I had this idea about getting a date with Lady Gaga by appealing to her fashion sense. Like if I could use some G-rated shock value to come up with some crazy costumes to wear like she does, then she'd be willing to go out with me. I just think she'd be a really cool person to go out with, you know. Anyway, you seem to be a snappy dresser, so I figured we could have a fashion contest of sorts, and whoever has the craziest costume will earn the right to date Lady Gaga. I already said I have no interest in dating Lady Gaga, but you know, your idea intrigues me. I'll compete against you for sure. If you win, you can date Lady Gaga, of course. But if I win, you have to date someone of my choosing. Is that a deal? Sure. Now who gets to go first? Why don't we flip this big ugly hat Jack Palance wore in the movie Outlaw of Gore to see who goes first? How'd you get that hat anyway? Very cheap on eBay. Okay, looks like you won the toss. What have you got for me? To start with, I have this half balloon costume here. I know Lady Gaga has already done a costume similar to this, but I think it's good to start with. What are you starting with? Well, I don't plan to do much with hair, since the guy from A Flock of Seagulls already has the coolest hairstyle. But I think this Euler Five Constant Equation tattoo is pretty cool. What? That's not Lady Gaga-like at all. I think I picked the wrong person to have this contest with. Already, I'm going to beat you with this one. It's the most awesome contact lens ever, and it curves around my entire head. See? Ah, uh, I guess the backwards hat trend wasn't enough for improper wearing of clothing. Now you've got to wear only one contact lens instead of two. Nothing says trendy like a monocle, I guess. Well, check out this sweater made out of exit signs. Cool. Pretty futuristic. But I've got something more flashy. Like something Jesse the Body Ventura would wear. It's this porcelain sink embedded with feathers. At first I thought of wearing it as a hat, but, like Jack Balance's headgear from Outlaw, it looks too big to be a hat, so I'm going to wear it as a wristwatch instead. At least I know where to put what I wear. Take braces, for instance. They go on the teeth, but what makes these particular braces here so cool is they extend out from the mouth and form a moose mask. So now I can straighten my teeth and impersonate Moose a Moose at the same time. Wonder Pets is coming up next, but first, it's puzzle time. Well, if you're going to discuss mouth accessories now, let me show you a new lipstick design. Your sister has volunteered to display it. The lipstick makes her top lip look like a 10-foot airplane, and her bottom lip look like a 6-inch bug. See? Now that's some high fashion art. Well, it was nice of her to help you out, but I regret to inform you that such help was all in vain. Your lipstick design won't draw the eye of Gaga like this crown made out of starched neckties. That may draw her eye all right, but not as much as this scarf made out of nothing but ant hills. Hold on. I didn't say I was done. 
You haven't yet seen this set of live leopard knee pads that come with a live leopard tongue pad as well. And on top of that, I found a way to wear the sky as an earring. Man, that's tough to beat. Darn, I don't think I can beat it. I guess you win the contest, Smalley. You're the new Lady Gaga dating contest champion. Don't worry, Bumo. You can still be the Lady Gaga dating contest champion one day. True, I may be the champion now. But I realize that the whole point of being a champion is to one day be beaten. That's how the bar gets raised even higher. Sure, talk big all you want, champ. You may have beaten me, but I don't think you actually topped Lady Gaga. I'm not sure I have the ability to do that, Bumo. I may know how to be interesting, but I don't actually have the ability to do it. See, to be interesting, you have to reveal secrets in a very specific way. For every secret you reveal, you have to bury two secrets even deeper. Lady Gaga has the ability to do this. I do not. Anyway, I've chosen who your date will be according to the deal we made. And it sure as heck isn't Lady Gaga. Who is it then? Keep in mind that fair is the closest I ever get to generous. But I've actually picked someone closer to Lady Gaga than you'd think. Is that a cardboard cutout of the lady from the progressive insurance commercials? That's right. Have fun, dude. Will do, sir. I'm going to be abstinent with this lovely thing all night long.